Pucker. We're back with the dolls. Um, you can't be mad at me if I get any dolls wrong today because I am sick. So I'm either right or you can't make fun of me. It's the perfect time to play the dolls. Your eyes do not deceive you. I do have a blankie on me right now. Check this out. Dragon fighting. Can't be done. Fire fighting. Infern ape. And we love it for him. Fire Alola. Chat, can I get a, a question? In, what is Unova? Sun and moon? Gen 5. This is where they had the Pokemons that were... Um, just like shaped like letters. It's black and white. Okay, black and white. What year did that come out? Two thousand and ten? Two thousand ten. Okay. Mythical fighting. It must be Buzzwool. He's too large to not be mythical. Mythical Alola. Mewtwo Alola. We're cooked today. It's that simple. Sometimes you just look at it and you know you're you're toast. A dragon Pokemon from the fifth gen. Latios. Rayquaza. That's tough. Uh, uh, Guard Chomp. All right. Dragon Fighting. Guard Chomp. No? Okay. Uh, I have no idea where to go with this. Myth Ma Machamp? Is there a special Machamp? G-Max is not mythical. You know what? I think that today's not going to be my day for Poke Doku. I only know like four Alolan Pokemon, and they're all like ice that they're fire that turns into ice. <laughs> it's like Alolan Vulpix or Ninetales is ice instead of fire, right? This is crazy. What the fuck is a mythical? I think it's like a Zapdos type thing, right? Alola Fire is in Smash Bros. Thank you, thank you. You saved me. Incineroar. Huge. I needed that hint. I appreciate that. And the rest, I think, honestly, I, I would just be putting on airs. <laughs> God is my witness. I know Tepig, and I do know Marowak Alola. Or as I call him, Alolan Marowak. And I think, was Zero Aura in Pokemon Unite? Look at Drampa. Darkstalker Katha. But this is tough, man. Least common. Salazzle. I, I've, I know Chandelure. I do not know Zygarde 10% or Taurus Paldea Blaze Breed. Or Margarine Original with the MC Hammer Pants. That one's just not my tempo. That's fine. Let's movies. Movies are kind of my tempo from time to time. Manhattan Trust Bank. Hmm. hmm. Manhattan Trust Bank. This looks like a 2000s movie set in New York. The Inside Man. I am a genius. Maybe Ludwig Göransson was, was cooking something when he said thank you to my parents for giving me a DVD player instead of a PlayStation 2. Oh, and now the PlayStation 2 had a DVD player in it. Well, you know what? Good point, good point. Someone should let him know that. <laughs> That's bait. Tom Hardy voice. That's bait. After three straight NFL, NFC Championship losses, Donovan McNabb and the Eagles finally went to the Super Bowl after defeating this NFC South team in the 2005 NFC title game. I watched this Super Bowl. It was Eagles versus Patriots. 
Who did they beat? Who was good that year in the NFC? 2005, a little before the Giants were popping. Eli Manning was too fresh-faced. The Bears wouldn't be in the South. Maybe the Atlanta Falcons? No, they strike me as an AFC team. Maybe the... New Orleans Saints. You ever think about that? No. Who was it? Bucks. Bucks? Really? Oh, it was the Falcons. No! They're an NFC team? It was the Michael Vick Falcons. I mean, they never stood a chance against Brian Dawkins, but whatever. You're not ready for that conversation yet. This Mountain West school had RBs with back-to-back 2,000 yards in 26... Let's be honest, I have no idea. Mountain West. Who are the Colorado State whatevers, okay? A career 309 hitter. Played for the White Sox from 97 to 04. The Tigers from 05 to 2011. Who is Maglio Ordonez? Oh, thank you. I, do, I have some knowledge of sports from that era. I don't know where it came from. That's the only person I can name off the Detroit Tigers World Series winning team. Well, did they win or did they lose to the White Sox? It's the capital of Missouri. Biloxi. Oh, no. <laughs> Jefferson City. This is Javier Bardem. This is a tough one because it just looks like Javier Bardem. I can't tell if it's Javier. I think it's Josh Brolin's head and Javier Bardem's face. Bardem? Nope. Wrong. I'm cooked today, man. No shot. It's Josh Brolin. Maybe Robert Downey Jr.? Tom Cruise? Yeah, he does. Tom Cruise does love the black on black with the unbuttoned. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you might be right. This brand of powdered and artificially sweetened beverage mixes is known for its lemonade variety and then began selling single serving on the go packs. Crystal Light. Oh! <laughs> we get these. Tatiana Maslany had a role in this 2022 Disney Plus Marvel miniseries. This would be She-Hulk. John Travolta and Nicolas Cage swap identities in this movie. Okay, well, they don't really swap identities. The verbiage that I have on that is that that implies that they decided to trade. They didn't really decide to trade. Nicolas Cage decides to become... John Travolta, and thus John Travolta has to become Nicolas Cage. Oh, wait, I think I have it backwards. It's been a while. After winning American Idol, this singer dropped hits like No Air, Tattoo, and Battlefield. Fantasia Barino. Taylor Hicks. Nope. Who is it? I have no idea. Jordan Sparks. I'll just be honest with you. I don't know who that is. I, I got kind of washed today. 4% on Celebrity Mashup is, is insane. Tom Felton. I mean, that is crazy. I saw people in chat typing it, and in my head, I was like, there's no shot they would ever use Tom Felton. Oh, I see. It's Javier Bardem's head and Tom Felton's face. That's why I got so confused. I thought it was um, Javier Bardem's face and Tom Cruise's head. No air is a banger. I Here's the thing. You're 30. I'm 35. We're more similar than we are different. But one of the ways in which we're most different is the 
epochs in which we lived through popular music. You know, the kids who were five years older than me were listening to, like, the Spice Girls in high school. What was I listening to in high school? <laughs> Wolf Parade's Apologies for the Queen Mary. Now, I was kind of based. I was a little bit based beyond my years. You can go through, like, a, a, a big generational difference, musically speaking. No Air was popular in 2006. Unfortunately for Jordan Sparks, I was popular in 2006, so I didn't hear it. 2006, I was more listening to, um, I wish that we could talk about it, but there lies the problem. You know what I'm saying? Brother, do I? You are LCD pilled. It's true. Hmm. I was there. Are you sunset rubdown pilled? Very much so. Trumpet, trumpet, toot, toot. Absolutely. Ever listen to tapes and tapes? Brother, you don't even have to ask. You already know in sister is on the Peloton playlist. They were always kind of more of a, a, a second-rate clap your hands, say yeah to me. But I don't, we don't need to get into that. We don't need to pit two bad bitches against each other, okay? Pi Day. It, it's the, the most annoying guy you know. It's Pi Day today, bro. Gel. <laughs> Gel. Words you can add a Y to at the end. Spiky, bumpy. Day, wittery pie, daddy, mui, servi, smash. Tennis, tennis terms set, serve, smash, spike. Spike is not a tennis term now that I think about it. Uh, actually, volleyball terms. Bump, spike, set, and smash. Bumps, bump, set, okay. <laughs> You're telling me smash isn't a, isn't a volleyball term? Hitty. Winner, winner, winner. Why does this say mistakes remaining two, by the way? Like, when I get one more wrong, don't I lose instantly? Daddy. Father. No? But I've already gotten two wrong. Daddy. Hello, Daniel. Hello. You get four. Oh! News. News. I guess you can pluralize almost anything. New. Jackie. Jackie. Jackie Onassi. Daddy. Leather daddy. <laughs> We've been through this before. Smash. Pie. Pie. Gel. Moo. Moo. Daddy, row, row, excel, keywords, row, new, pi, day. It's the hardest connections I've ever seen. Father. Accomplishment. Sounds animals make. Jackie. Pie. Things with a crust. Things with a filling. Things that you can add an S to the front and the end. Shits, spies, Swinners and smooths.
I've never been this cooked. You can add a T to the end. Moot. Newt. <laughs> you can add S-E to the end. Moose. Pisces. I, with God as my witness, I have no idea. I have no clue. So we're going to go via, via vibes, okay? Pi and day will not go together. That's our red herring. Moose. <laughs> Jello. Daddy yo. Day yo. Winner o. Ja Jackie O. Oh, Jackie Onassis. Okay. New. Moo. Rue. Winner. A hit. A success. A smash. And a winner. What are synonyms for a successful song? Or a box office victory? New. Moo. Ro. Pie. I have no idea what that is. Homophones of Greek letters. Holy. They are trying to give me mental illness. <laughs> They're getting... New York Times has taken the connection slander personally, bro. They said, oh, it's too hard for you? Double it and give it to the next guy. Holy cow, it's a zooted crossword today. Flexible gymnastics move. Split. Innocently clueless. Naive. Keeping it to zero is a Sisyphusian task. Inbox. Terracotta is a pottery material. Looks fabulous in slang. Slays. Now we're talking. That is what we're talking about. Give me the SATs right now. Explain the inbox for me. People are always talking about inbox zero. Keeping it to zero is a Sisyphusian task. What is snits? <laughs> Foul tempers, I guess. Who knew? Who knew? Coscodal. <clears throat> I'm sorry. That, the burp, I couldn't stop it in time. I couldn't stop it in time. I'm sick. You can't judge me. United Sugars Extra Fine Granulated Sugar, 25 pounds. Relevant to you if you are running a, a bakery. 25 pounds of sugar. Sugar is insanely cheap. I bet this is like eleven ninety nine. dollars Okay. Go ahead and say it. <laughs> Go say it. I can't wait to see Dune 2 so I finally understand what this Luzon Al Gabe stuff means. Did you see Tim Sweeney emailed Gaben and called him a, a freaking crook or something like that? And Gabe Newell emailed back and said, you mad, bro? Sorry, my mistake. <clears throat> it was the COO, but it's still hilarious. I don't know what a COO is. They do all the stuff that the CEO doesn't want to do. Chief Operations Officer. The hell does that mean? Isn't everything an operation, bro? COO actually runs the company while the CEO golfs. 
while the CEO runs their campaign to convince the shareholders that they deserve $107 million in compensation this year. Am I everything that's wrong with corporate governance? I don't actually vote whenever I get the email that's like, um, please vote for Apple Board of Governors. If I did, 100%, I'm voting Al Gore. You know why? Only name on the list I recognize. Plus, he deserves like a, a little glazing, bro. He got screwed in 2000. Well, let's try Honduras today. Okay, not Honduras. Let's try the Maldives. Kind of an insane pick, honestly. Uh, let's try Mozambique. Even warmer. Let's try Mali. It's adjacent. Let's try Burkina Faso. That's cooler. I can do this. I can do this. Equi no, no, no. Um, Togo. Okay, okay. Um, Ghana. Senegal. Algeria. Yes! West Sahara was what I was thinking about, but Algeria. Algeria. My favorite game? Oh, no, it's not my favorite game. It's World, World La. No disrespect to World La. World La is still pretty good. Am I crazy to think that this shit is like Western Sahara? It seems like it's in the same region. Not even close to the same region, actually. This is Saudi Arabia. I am cracked, bro. This, you're right, this is my Michael Jordan flu game. Even on Michael Jordan's flu game, he didn't have a free throw percentage of uh, 100%, bro. Also, why do they call them free throws? Can we dispose of these ridiculous airs? They're called shots. Because they're free? Oh, I mean field goals. I'm not talking about free throws. That's my mistake. I mean field goals. What the hell is a field goal percentage in basketball? I ain't seen anyone ever split the uprights. It's because they used to throw them underhanded. Man. James Naismith could never... James Naismith going Peaky Blinders mode when he sees Vince Carter do a 360-degree one-handed dunk over Bryant Big Country Reeves. Ah! The heck was that? It's not my damn screen region. What happened to my screen region, bro? There it is. Box office game. 1991. I was alive. I was two years old. I was nearly three, for your information. And uh, Robert Englund? Yeah, I'm very familiar with the Friday the 13th films. I mean the Nightmare on Elm Street films. This is probably The Dream Child. This is probably... You know what? Let's leave this one for a second. They were really dropping the Friday the 13th. I mean, A Nightmare on Elm Street on September 13th. The news traveled slower back then. Paramount Pictures, $22 million, starring Kenneth Branagh from 1991. I'm fucked, boys. It's fucking like Much Ado About Nothing or something. $6 million, starring Robert Arkins. Okay, let's put that one in the hopper for a second. Tri-Star, $190 million, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger from 1991. What is Terminator 2? Judgment Day. <laughs> Successful. 20th Century Fox, $61 million, starring Charlie Sheen. What is Platoon? 
genre. Action comedy war. What is Hot Shots? There we go. The mother of all movies. Eight misses left. Safest bet. Just keep sending a nightmare on Elm Street down there. How about Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare? Oh! <laughs> Which turned out to be a fucking lie, bro. Just when you thought it was safe to sleep. They saved the best for last. Let me guess. Rotten Tomatoes score, 7%. Cringe ass behavior looking for plus twos in the chat before I move on to the next guest. Kenneth Brana, tagline How many times can you die for love? I mean, Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> People die in that. Um, much, much ado about nothing. Final gross $38 million. Titus Andronicus, Tenet. Composer Roman Strauss is executed for the murder of his wife. In 1990, I'm starting to think this isn't Shakespeare. A detective comes across a mute amnesiac woman who's somehow linked to the Strauss murder. With God as my witness, I have no idea. How did Kenneth Branagh do this? In 1991... He was making his own movies that he directed in, that he starred in. Like, I thought that started with, like, Hamlet or something like that. But now he's just fucking bootstrapping himself. I have no idea what this is. Dead again. I, I've never heard of it, but more power to you. I love Kenneth Branagh. Because he's in Tenet. And Wild Wild West. They had nothing to lose. They risked it all. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Jimmy Rabit. Just a tick out of school gets a brilliant idea to put a soul bound band together in Barrytown. First, okay, it's an Irish movie about making music. I don't know it. The commitments. Fair enough. I mean, this movie is big on YouTube, right? There's like scenes from this movie. They sing Try a Little Tenderness or something like that. For some reason, there's information in my brain attached to this movie, though I thought I had no idea what was going on with it. 58th percentile is actually like kind of, it's kind of cracked considering we got two misses. I'm not talking about their nicknames, Chad. We got to skip some of the harder dulls. I'm just being honest. My, my brain's not there, man. Go straight to a, a movie grid. Daniel Day-Lewis, Cameron Diaz. Mm, probably sex tape. Gangs of New York. Daniel Day-Lewis, three or more word title. There will be blood. Wait, 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 wait. Released from 1990 to 2010. My left foot. My Rocky Dennis. Isn't that... What's this movie called? Chat, what's this movie called? Hang on. Eddie Murphy, Cameron Diaz. That's Shrek 2, bro. Huge. Three or more word title. The Adventures of Pluto Nash. Bit of a deep cut. Released 1990 to 2010. I'll hit you with, I'm trying to think of a deep, you know, maybe Bowfinger. You won't catch me playing the clumps on this one. It's too obvious. Ben Stiller, Cameron Diaz. It seems so obvious to me. Ben Stiller, three or more word title. Crazy pick, the cable guy. Ben Stiller, 1990 to 2010. Uh, reality Bites. 
These are good cuts, okay? Ben Stiller, Cameron Diaz. Ben Stiller, Cameron Diaz, bro. He, she's not in Zoolander. She's probably in Zoolander too because everybody's in Zoolander too. Ben Stiller must have dirt on all of Hollywood. Ben Stiller, Cameron Diaz. Dodgeball? She's not in Dodgeball, I think. She is in Slackers for a second. Vanilla Sky, The Mask. Night and Day, Bad Teacher. Dodgeball, a true underdog story. Happy Gilmore. Heavyweights. The Cable Guy. Meet the Parents. Meet the Fockers. Little Fockers. Flirting with Disaster. Any chance she was in Flirting with Disaster? Well, I think we got to take one of these. Isn't it two left feet? My foot. My left, I don't think it's the story of Christy Brown, bro. The Mask, Mask the Rocky Dennis story. 1990 to 2000. Daniel Day-Lewis, I'm not that familiar with the oeuvre. That's my problem. So we can obviously play like There Will Be Blood. Don't G-chat. You know what? I'm, I'm stupid. Play There Will Be Blood here. And then in the other spot, play The Last of the Mohicans. I was guilty of thinking that this is Kevin Costner, but that's Dances with Wolves. Okay. You would think this is the easiest one. I'm going to go Madagascar. I know Ben Stiller's in it. Oh. <laughs> it is the easiest? What is it? Oh, there's something about Mary! Oh, man. Stop messaging me on Gchat. I can't close the window because I have the deliverables window for the Final Fantasy stream open. I need you to stop messaging me. It's a problem. All my friends who are at work are now in the Eastern time zone. So, well, they shouldn't even be done work. I guess if they were done work, they'd be too busy to shitpost. Mute the tab? Nah. Nah, it's not that kind of day. Too easy. Pitiful. A adjective meaning full mm. of pity. Compassionate. Powder. A verb meaning to sprinkle or... Easy mode. Studied. A adjective mean. Use a noun meaning the female of the sheep, especially when mature. You. Also you is a noun that means the female of the sheep. In franchise. A verb meaning to set. Okay, next. Stop. <laughs> Technician. A noun meaning a specialist. Casserole. Oh. A noun meaning a dip. I don't think I've ever had one of these. Denizen. A noun meaning. Oh, I typoed! I typed Dennis N. Mordant. A adjective meaning biting and caustic in. Oh, no, I'm cooked, guys. Sentries. A noun meaning guard. <laughs> Mordant. Moppet. A noun meaning baby, darling. Mop. <laughs> Isn't this what, like, a British person calls you when they're more mad than they've ever been in their entire life? Rugose. A adjective meaning full of wrinkles. Rugosus comes from Latin. Rugos. Stop. Oh my God. Immoderate. A adjective meaning exceeding just you. It's cr what could they be yapping about? We sometimes we go like ten months without a message in the chat, man. Dispensation. A noun meaning a j coracle. A noun meaning a small boat used in Britain from ancient time. Oh, uh, you, you know what? You, I'm muting the tab, man. I'm muting the tab. You did this to me. Let me see what's so important that they're talking about. Did you test drive the Ionic? I'm showing out on politics, politics. Put it in one message, bro. It's getting crazy. I'm closing the tab. I closed the tab. There you go. I closed the tab.
see results. Coracle. It's with an A. Mordant. Denisnet. That we should have had 13 today, but it happens. It happens. People who send one message across multiple lines are the worst. Yeah, but when I do it, it's not illegal. Food guesser. These are potatoes. Lamb or mutton, Worcester sauce. What is Ireland? Very hot. United Kingdom. Lancashire hot pot. <laughs> Looks good, don't get me wrong. Looks tasty. I love potatoes, man. I got nothing against that. This is a crawfish boil. No, it is not. Dutch Malay spices. What is Indonesia? Ice cold. <laughs> Ice cold. All right. Um, traditionally cooked outside. How far away is ice cold, bro? Meat, onion, pumpkins, corn, potatoes. Ice cold? The United States of America? Ice cold. The United Kingdom of England? Ice cold. Is this possible? Uh, Georgia. Ice cold. South Africa? I think so it makes sense with the Dutch spices. Okay, okay. We got there. Also looks good. Tough one though. First tough one I've ever seen. What the heck is this? Celery, parsley, beef stew, meat. Beef stew, meat. Olives, celery, mint, lemon juice, dried mint, lemon juice, oil, and water. What is Iran? Okay. The man is off the Benjamin right now. Celery stew. I will say I appreciate it today. Three things that I had never heard of that I would definitely be stoked to eat. Average score today, 10,000. We clear that. Easy. It was three things that were corn in a pot. Well, like human beings, we're all made of the same infrastructure deep down, right? We all love boiled corn. Ray Romano and Bobby Cannavale. Ice Age 3. And Harvey Keitel. <laughs> uh, old dads. No. The duelist. Barry Lyndon. I have absolutely no idea. Paddleton. Skip me. Joe Pesci. The Irishman. The Irishman, it's a blind spot. It's a blind spot for me. They are old dads. It's true, Robert De Niro and Al Pacino are two of the oldest dads in human history. Sorry, I had to sneeze. We're so back. Wordles. Acted. We just did it. Cinematrix.
Don Cheadle, MCU movie. Well, there's no way we're not using MCU for that. Benicio Del Toro, Tessa Thompson. Okay, Benicio Del Toro, 90% plus Rotten Tomatoes. This is Sicario. Huge, huge guess. Tessa Thompson, 90% plus. This is Creed. Or, let's go Creed. I think Creed's safe. That's tough. Don Cheadle, 90% plus. Probably be thinking like Hotel Rwanda. We take those. One word title, Crash. MCU movie, Iron Man 2. That was his first one. Maybe that's too clever. Maybe we should go with uh, Civil War. Get into the weeds a little bit. Try to lose him in the weeds. I can live with that. Benicio Del Toro, one word title. MCU movie. Ah, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, no, no. You know what? He's in Infinity War for five seconds. Oh, they still took it. <laughs> Benicio Del Toro. Traffic. Tessa Thompson, one word title. I guess I should have. Okay, okay. Thor. Ragnarok. Yeah, or Thor. Maybe we go Thor, Love and Thunder. Just to lose him in the weeds a little bit. And then we go uh, um, uh, Creed 2 is probably two words. So we go Annihilation, which is one word. And we're straight chilling. Top 7% of players today. Couple of most common guesses, but I'm not sure what else we could have done about that. Like, it's tough to come up with more, you know, movies that are 90% plus. It's easy enough to come up with good movies, but 90% is like, a, it's a high watermark to clear. So I was talking about Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> I was saying, how can Ocean's Eleven not be 90% plus on Rotten Tomatoes when I, it's the most likable movie ever made? Even if it's not your favorite movie of all time, it's not my favorite movie of all time, but I would always be down to watch it, bro. It's a frenetic piece of, of broad appeal filmmaking. It's very good. I'm not defending mid. It's probably like 89, okay? People think it's generic because it was definitive. I mean, if you weren't alive in 2001, you don't know what the world looked like before Ocean's Eleven and after, okay? It changed the game forever. Are you wearing a candy corn shirt? I think I have a fever, so I'm... I have a blanket. I'm cozied up with a blanket. I'm comfy maxing. We should probably slash marker and get ready for the, the stream, right, Kate? <laughs> 